Hey guys, this is Richard Ross with ComputerLearningZone.com. This isn't a formal lesson or anything. I just wanted to share an experience that I just had with ChatGPT. In case you haven't heard about this yet, this is artificial intelligence that can actually have a conversation with you and perform a whole bunch of crazy and impressive tasks. For example, I wanted to make a list of fictitious names for a lesson I was going to do showing how to import names from Excel into Access. And instead of sitting there typing them all in myself, I said, let me, let me ask ChatGPT to do this. And this is what it came up with. Okay, so I wanted to get a list of fictitious names to put in a spreadsheet so I could use them for a lesson in Access to import data from Excel. So I asked ChatGPT, I said, give me a list of 15 fictitious names formatted CSV, comma, symbol. And there you go. And great, it picked Game of Thrones, one of my favorite shows. Okay? Well, except for that last episode, but we're not going to get into that. Okay, then I said, give me the same list, but separate first and last names. Okay, not a problem. Great. <laughs> then I said, remove the fictitious field and add a fictional address. All right, because it has fictitious on the end. Okay, no problem. <laughs> and then I said, format that list so I could paste it into Excel. So it did that. But that doesn't quite copy and paste over exactly well. If you copy that and you paste it into Excel, you get, mm, it's not perfect. It's not bad, but it's not perfect. But that comma throws it off because you got two different, the address is separated into two columns. That's not exactly what I want. So let's, let's keep going. Okay. Add a fictional phone number to that list. There's some fictional phone numbers. <laughs> Pretty good. Okay. Add the person's age. Good approximations. I don't know if those are right or not, but I just wanted some numeric data. Okay. Uh, what happened to Cersei? You lost her after the last couple of lists. Now, no, I noticed this here, right? It went from Bran Stark and then Bran Stark again. Somewhere up here, it lost Cersei. There's Cersei. And then somehow he lost her. Got Bran twice. One from Winterfell, one from King's Landing. Okay. So then I said, all I said was, all I said was, what happened to Cersei? You lost her in the last couple of lists. I apologize for the mistake. Here's the revised list. <laughs> Like, it, it understood what I was saying to complain about. All right, continuing on, I said, thank you, that was very helpful. Then I said, make the list semicolon delimited. Because instead of those commas separating, because this, this comma separating, you know, the city from the state, for example, I, I said, make it semicolon delimited. There you go. Okay, put quotes around each field. Not a problem. Remove quotes from the age field, because I want that to be a data field, right? a numeric field. Looks good. Okay. Separate the address into city and state fields. It understood that. And then varies, where is he? Right here, has no last name. I don't think in the show they ever mention a last name. For so I said, make up a last name for varies. So it just made varies, varies. Okay. Pretty cool. That was it. So with very little work... Normally, when I make up these fake lists myself, I would just sit there and type like a whole bunch of Star Trek names or whatever. But I just asked Chat, Chat, DBT, G, <laughs> Chat GPT to give me a list of 15 names, and then I, I added some extra stuff, put some conditions on it, and with very little work, it added some really cool results. And so I, this is, this, I, I can see the future of this becoming very useful for, for tasks like this where you, know, you want to just tell the computer to do some things, and it does the thing. Now, I've had some other conversations involving more creative stuff. It's, it's good, but it's not great yet. So I'm not, I'm not worried that it's going to take over my job yet. <laughs> but things like this that require formatting, editing. You know, I, 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 I took a transcript of one of my videos, and I said, here, check this for spelling and grammar, and it returned perfectly, text, perfectly formatted text. So I was like, wow. So it's getting there. So if you're interested, check it out for yourself. Here's the address right there. It's chat.openai.com. Don't everybody go all at once, though, because I've tried to get on a couple times already, and their servers were full. So, yeah, don't, yeah, so one at a time, please. <laughs> don't use it all for me. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, and I'm, I'm looking very much forward to see where this technology goes in the coming months and years.